Hey folks, Quillateen here, and welcome to another episode of Italian Imperialism. At least, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to be calling this EU4 Let's Play, featuring the new Common Sense expansion. Our goal in this game is to form Italy, something I don't think I've done before, and become um, Emperor of the HRE, which um, I think will be an interesting pair of goals there. I like it. I like it quite a bit. So, um, right now, we have gone and taken Mantua. Mostly, we're having to let our manpower recharge. We spent a ton of it dealing with some rebels here a moment ago, which definitely kind of sucks. Uh, at some point, I do want to go after Milan. Basically, I'm just waiting until France is in position to decide to come and help us. I can spend some money for 20 years of more prestige. I think I like that quite a bit. That's a nice... That's a big chunk of prestige. It, at this point, we're getting very close to when we finish our current mission, which is what? Manpower recharge. Yeah, well, we'll see if we can pull that off. Um, but if we can take that uh, prestige mission that gives us plus one stability, it'll actually be quite nice. So again, when you start with a small nation, you do spend a fair amount of time waiting early on just because your ability to be active is limited, both because you have a very limited manpower pool, but mostly because um, you have to be careful about what the big players around you are doing. You can't just boss them around. And in particular, you can't build up too much aggressive expansion. Finish the markets place in Ferrara, which should give us a bit more trading come over here in Venice. Which is nice. We are just drawing three out of here. What exactly are we drawing out? We're drawing 3.72. Oh, almost four ducats a month. That's not bad. Income right now is positive. Um, we are still reinforcing our army, but not too, too much. I mean, we're not making like unlimited amounts of money, but we're making something. Um, I think actually to save a few boxes, I will go ahead and fire that advisor. Put him back in the list. It does cost 15 to hire. So he's got to be fired for a little over a year to make it worthwhile. But if we're waiting for our manpower to recover, he, we're not going to have to rush into it. Um, and if things change dramatically in such that France can join in, they are winning their war against England, you know, the, the revival of the Hundred Years' War. Um, as long as they're part of it, we won't need the disciplined guys. So I think ultimately that will save us money by firing that guy. We're coming up on our um, first administrative idea, which I think we can pretty safely take, in fact. Unlock temples, get some extra tax modifier in provinces, which I think is going to be quite nice. Um, we could, of course, spend our admin power doing improvements to our country as well. I think it's going to be better to tech up. No, if nothing else, we want to get to our first national ideas first. Um, the big question mark will be, what will be that first national idea? Who are you at war with? Oh! You, wait, what? France is allied with Austria? See, that, that's just unholy. That won't last forever, though, so it's okay. Claims on arrival. We got a free claim on Cremona. Where's... What's Cremona? Oh! We got a second claim on Milan. That's actually quite nice. And we get some more prestige for free. That is indeed very, very nice. Let's take a look right now. If we were to declare war on Milan, what would happen? Savoy and then Hungary would join in the other side, which is too bad. We're trying to suck up to uh, to Hungary. We can get a royal marriage going on. If we can get uh, really lovey-dovey with them, they may not be willing to join in, um, even on a defensive call. It's rare, but it could happen. Hungary is allied to Milan, who's my rival, which is too bad. If we can get rid of that neutral relationship um, variant, then we should be able to get a little bit better. There we go. S Savoy officially is friendly with me, which means they're going to be fine to uh, join in offensive wars. They might have done it from time to time, join in offensive war, and particularly they would have done it against Milan because they're my rival. We're really waiting for France to become that. Because, again, if I were to declare war on Milan right now, and you look at France, there's a minus 30 because they're only defensive with me. They're not friendly with me. So they would come and defend me, but they don't necessarily want to attack. And then, of course, we want to wait until they're done their war, because fighting another war in occupied and besieged provinces is killing it. But other than that, they will go and join in. Um, I could... Who else do I want to suck up to? Um, uh, uh, Bohemia. Maybe Poland. Poland seems like they're going to do okay. We'll go ahead and preemptively send a little love that way. Who's got the minus 12? Bohemia, how come? Oh, allied to rival. Sure. Oh, Austria. You know what? Let's stop that. Brandenburg? There we go. Improve relations over there. I should start sucking up to electors, actually. I'm, I'm a far away away from becoming elected. Holy crap, the Imperial Authority goes up a lot faster now. So much faster. Well, it sort of reminds me of how it used to go up way back in the day. And, and in the last couple of patches, it's gone up so slowly or so impossibly that you can never get quite deeply. 
The first few are good for everyone. I'll be very happy if the first few levels go in, but obviously I don't want um, Austria to finish everything because that would be pretty bad, but I will want to finish this myself once we get to that point, which means I actually have to make sure that there's enough... Um, enough HRA members kicking around because the more members there are, the more Imperial authority you get. So we're going to want to make sure that we don't swallow them all up. In fact, someone like uh, Lucha is interesting because they're also a free city, which gives an extra bonus, but we'll see what we can do. We lost stability. Oh man. My one decent king has already died. This regency council is not too bad, actually. My heir is like... He's not apocalyptically bad, but it's certainly far from great. That's really frustrating. And I have to spend some more points to keep my stability up to at least that zero. I just don't want to go negative. That's all. Mm-hmm. Sorry, one sec. All right. <clears throat> so... Again, not, not going to be terribly exciting for the very uh, short foreseeable future. Letting that manpower go up. We've got to wait for France to finish this war. That's really what we're doing. Let's go all the way up to speed 5, actually. Things are going to go flying by. I'm surprised our uh, force limit hasn't gone up yet. Technically, our maximum force limit is 10.8, but it's being brought down a bit by the autonomy over here. How come this hasn't dropped anymore? Oh, unlawful territory freezes it. Really? Oh, I didn't realize that. That's really annoying. Okay, so that just expired, which is actually going to be really good for our friendships. And now it's going to go down. Okay, very happy about that. The uh, recent uprising has gone away in Mantua, but same. Oh, no, it's still there. Just a weird recalculation bug going on. They still have a bit of separatism. Um, I can pretty much afford to bring this down all the way down. Oops. I said all the way down. There we go. No reinforcements. Bishops of Ferrara. I can take some money, get more Catholicism reform. Or it's a sin. I'm going to say it's a sin because I actually want papal influence. I want to play the Catholic game this time. Um, I don't care about my interest per annum. I don't need another advisor. Um, prestige, if I get the mission. And I have no cardinals. I think getting a cardinal is just luck. So I guess we'll save up for now. Can you save up to what, 100? Is that true? Does it, does it have a limit anymore? Right, right, and the Papal State hates us. God. Well, they're really going to hate us once we form Italy and just eat them completely. Oh, they picked up Urbino. All right. Yeah, Hungary and Austria. That's really bad. Iberian Wedding. Oh, they did not combine with Aragon. Okay, good for us. The AI does that, um, the event, actually, I don't know if it's changed in the recent patches, but it was uh, basically 90% chance they would marry and then a 10% chance they wouldn't. So we got lucky with the 10% chance, which is going to slow down, um, slow down uh, Castile's expansion because they don't just personal union Aragon. Very good for me. I'm very happy about that. Dun, 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 dun. Does this mean it's not covered by a, a castle? Is that what that means? I keep forgetting to uh, to look it up between episodes, actually. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. I think that might be what it's, it's trying to indicate. Because they got a castle here, but nothing adjacent to Parma. New technology! Ah, oh, wonderful. Excellent. Okay, we're going to get men-at-arms. Really good. That's going to help us out. How's uh, Milan's military tech? They're at level 4. Because we have been focusing it. Look at this. We're getting 9 right now. Thank you very much, Regency Council. Um, which is going to put us in a nice ahead of time position. Really, really happy with that. Okay. Da, da, da. Force. And yes, the autonomy here is going down. Again, nothing to do with... Wait, France, are you still in your war? You are. You're winning pretty handily. But I need you to get out of your war. Probably. Uh, sucking up some people, that's fine. Um, actually, Savoy would probably jump in. The question is, will, would Hungary? It'd be nice if Hungary was in a war. Because I don't want them jumping in on this side. Tuscany we can live with. Well, if we get France especially, we can deal with everything. Um, let's go ahead and let this finish. I still don't have my max manpower. I've got my mission, too, to get to 90%, so I may as well let that finish. 
It would be really nice to actually finish that mission once in my entire life. Any enemy claims? No. There's on Ferrara. Ooh, there's actually Venice as a claim there as well. Oh, had I let my uh, royal marriage with France lapse? Anyone else? Austria as well. All right, good enough, Poland. Royal marriage. Oh, and they're friendly with me. Lost their general, so we got to spend it again. They're friendly, which means... Who were they allied with that I was concerned with? The Papal States. So they shouldn't actually join in there. I don't have a CB, I think. And, oh, I have a Regency Council. For frack's sake. My guy's only eight years old. Okay, so let's really fast forward. I still think... and I uh, Arumba thinks you should just be able to declare war whenever you want. I think if you have a Regency Council... You should be able to declare war, but it should cost you one point of stability because you don't have a proper king. So it, you know, as a balancing feature. Um, I can go ahead and take this admin tech. I'm not that close to coring anything, so we'll go ahead and do that. Do we want to build a temple? It's not that much tax money right now. I'll hold up, especially with the war coming. Transfer trade power. Austria wants me to transfer trade power to them. I'm going to have to decline Austria. Hopefully it doesn't make you hate me. It would make you like me. Or wait, was it the other way around? No, I think they wanted me to transfer them. I should have read more carefully to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Alright, nope, fast forward. Gotta let the Regency Council end. I mean, unless we get pulled into a defensive war. Or just a call to arms, I mean to say. Well, a defensive war as well. Like if um, the Papal State declared war on me. Mamluks declared war on Venice. Is it for, ah, first reform, cheaper build cost, development cost. Same thing for everyone. Okay. Um, is it for, oh, it's for Crete. Did the war over Cyprus end? Military access from Savoy. Yes. Who are you in a war with, Savoy? I don't want you being in wars. Oh, you joined in that one. All right, that's fine. France is now, okay, there. But of course, we don't have a king. God, so I can't declare war right now. Right now, while France is at peace. Oh, they still only have a defensive, so it'd be nice to get a bit more of that. Yes, I would love the manpower event, especially it'll bring me a little bit closer. Need 90%. Oh, we're virtually there. Complete that quest. Okay, can't complain too, too much. <laughs> Although Regency Councils are annoying. Oh, we could suck up to some people. Switzerland! I will suck up to you. And you know what? I'll start sucking up to Naples. We're going to want to, at some point, um, support your independence. We can work with that, Naples. Wait, are you independent? <laughs> the very second I start improving relationships, they have broken away. How did that happen? There was no war. They have a big truce going on. Maybe they were forced to release something. Okay, an independent Naples makes my life a lot better. A lot better. Because... Naples by itself is weaker than, say, all of Aragon plus Naples. Especially if there's a personal, if the personal union completes in an integration, that would have made the whole Italian ambition that I've got going on a lot harder. <laughs> all right, money's coming in pretty well. Of course, our maintenance is low. How old are we now? Ten. All right. Is what fifteen in this game? I think it's sixteen in CK two, but fifteen in this one. We will want to build some troops above our force limit, probably right before we go in the end. Especially as we approach our manpower cap. We'll spend a little bit of that manpower to to build some troops, and then the manpower can keep working its way back to the cap. Okay, completed a mission. I think that's the first time in my life I've ever completed that. Rival of a rival. Make Genoa like this. I can do that. Naples, I don't really... You know what? It doesn't really matter who. All right, we'll cancel Naples for now. And we'll just start working on Genoa. They actually are friendly towards me. Really? So they would ally. Is that what we want? You're allied with the Papal States, Savoy, and Siena, which is pretty good. You're rivaled to Provence, Milan, Tuscany. You know, this works out really well. We all hate the same people. Love it. Plus, that'll give a big relationship boost right away, which makes it a lot easier. So we're still improving over there. I'm going to go back to... Um, you know what? I'm going to improve an alliance with Naples. I'm probably capped, though, right? I'm at 4-4. Four, four. An alliance with Naples would be handy against the Papal States. Who I'm not rivaled with. Although, honestly, 
that's probably the next thing that's going to happen. If these two go to war, I want to be brought in so I can steal a province. I'm going to go above my relationship limit. Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. Let's get a royal marriage as well. Plus, hey, we can do the... Uh, we can actually do the personal union game this time. I mean, personal union isn't something you actively do. It's just you have to basically get lucky. But marry enough people, and it can happen. Keep that prestige high. A lot of things can happen in a very, very good and positive way. Okay. How old are we now? Ten. God damn. Speed five. Someone call us into a war. I'm totally ready to fight, even though I'm a kid. Don't worry about it. I can't start shit, but I can finish it. Come on, guys. Romagna. Or Roman Romanian. Okay, sure. New Pope. Black Day. Seems rude. More legitimacy. I don't need that. Legitimacy is a little bit low because of the Regency Council, but as soon as that ends, it'll pop back up. If we can get the um, the prestige quest. Rival of the rival, there we go. No missions? Seriously? Oh, and I've got a decision I can take here. Oh, that just started. Uh, because the state hates me. The Papal State. I can do this. Until the end of the game, I get less unrest, cheaper stability costs, more prestige. It tanks my Papal Influence, though. It's really good. It's really good for a lot of things. But, and, and for the rest of the game. But I'm, I'm really planning on, be, on staying Catholic. At least for now. We can always put this in later. So I'm just going to take that away so it doesn't bug me about it. Yeah, and... Really? No missions? Give me the give me the prestige mission. I guess because it's not low enough. I think you only get the prestige mission if you're below a certain point. Political crisis. Um, I'm going to go with the legitimacy. Again, it's still on its way down. It'll go up as soon as I become a grown-up. I, I suppose I could just buy it up right now. Which one is it? Here. You know what? Do it. I don't have a cardinal. It's actually an excellent use of this. Gives us a bit more of a buffer here. And again, it will, as soon as we stop being a regency, it will go up. We've got a strong claim. <gasps> oh. That's not really what I was looking for. Who's in this war? Oh. Papal States. What did you do? At war with Tuscany. Austria, Baden, Aragon, Navarra, Burgundy, Nevers, Brabant, Flanders, Holland, Venice, and Milan. Well, you know what? Papal states had gotten too big anyway. I'm quite happy with shrinking them down. Let's take a look at the uh, their diplomatic map mode over there. That is not good for them. Apparently everyone hates the Pope. You know, there's a lot of people in this war. It's going to keep a lot of people busy. Savoy are, did not get pulled in. France is still at peace. This is going to be very interesting. All right, let's kick it up to speed five and mostly just wait. Uh, no, Papal states, I'm not giving you military access. Although, technically, we give military access to both sides, no matter who I say yes to, so maybe it doesn't matter. Bosnia. Whoa, 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 Oh! Oh, nice. Okay. Wait. Wait, what? Why is... Why is Austria able to call me in to the papal conquest of Arezzo. Tuscany is the war leader on the other side, isn't it? Or maybe not. Maybe Austria took over as war leader. But uh, still, unless they've been cobelligerized, how could they call me in? Did the papal state, is that what happened? Did the papal state cobelligerize Austria? Which is why so many people are in, in this war? I suppose they must be. I accept, uh, oh, wait, 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 bring this up first, and I'm going to wait until December the 1st, I still won't be capped, also, I don't have a general over here, so I guess, um, I could, well, it's five years away, before I can make my son, my, my, my current king a general, oh, I don't have the points for this, oh, there, derp, one, 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 hey, I'll take it, Okay, I'm going to accept. Just because I'm not really being threatened here right now, which is good. I'm going to stay here, not move adjacent quite yet. Um, I could take 
something here, but no, that's okay. So, I have a lot of allies here. I have to worry about this stuff. That's being sieged down there. So there, we won a naval battle. Okay, that's nice. I should probably build more ships, actually. I have the money. You know what? One, two, three. Let's get those ships on their way for some trade power. I can just walk into Romagna right now. And that'll count as being occupied by me. Where's their castle? Actually, I don't... I, okay, then I, I really don't understand... Okay, they have a castle there. Was it not done before? Maybe it was under construction? That might make sense. Maybe the red's is under construction. I still have been failing to double check. By the time you guys watch this episode... Whoa! Get out. By the time you guys watch this episode, I think it's possible you'll have the game. But I am playing this several days ahead of release, which means we don't have much info. Okay, yeah, I can't stay there. Let's let that charge up at the very least. Um, people can attach to this unit. Anyone who wants to come help me? Problem is, they're mostly fighting over here. But if I can force them to reset these siege progresses, that would be quite nice. But yeah, so the Papal State, your only castle is way over here, which Aragon is sieging. I don't think I can get there safely. Oh, um, actually walk this way. No, this way. Oh, and it is being sieged now. Okay, yeah, you're going to be jumped on, buddy. I will try to reinforce you. I will get there a little bit late. What are your stats? Oh, Pope's got a crossing penalty. Good. No leader at all? Are you serious? And what do you have? A 2-0. You're already getting crushed even before I arrived. Now, that's double plus on good. Who's this? Naples? Is Naples in on this? Yeah. No. Damn. We have more people, but the problem was the Aragonese troops were too weak to start off with. They're the same stats. No leader advantage. Still, we can go back and regroup. It's okay. It's fine. It's our force limit. Oh, it has gone up by one. Cool. Build another uh, man at arms over there. And then, of course, let everything uh, reinforce as well. I'm not going to do the consolidate rebuild here, think, since I'm not on time limit. Katarina Svorza. I guess this is from one of the women in history things. Uh, lots of text. Too long. Did not read. Gain a treasure. No, I don't need a level 2 advisor or level 2. I will leave her to rule in peace, wherever the hell she is. Somewhere. And gain 10 prestige. Nice. Don't need any level 2 advisors. I don't have the money for it. It would be nice to go to Romagna right now, but if I do that, my morale and reinforcements will go up slower than if I just stay in friendly territory. Losing money right now just because reinforcements are very expensive. All right, let's uh, let's kick it up to speed 4 for now while I don't have to worry about anything. Looks like they're going to recharge their muscle over here and then probably move back in to, um, to Tuscany. They're fighting for this. they got to siege out that castle. Are they coming for me? Do they have a maneuver? They don't. Okay. I mean, hills are good too, but as long as they've got a river crossing, the minus two will be fine. Oh. Oh, okay. Milan's got some troops there. Okay. We will we'll jump in. Um, I'm worried about adding a river crossing penalty at this point. No, I have a level one maneuver. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. And, oh, France is here. Hey, hey. I wonder if I should just run straight to Rome. That ought to give me a lot of war score, right? I'll see if I can make some little, like, mini occupation steps along the way. Oh, actually, they're going to be going straight to Rome. Oh, I could have short made it shorter, I think, if I went through Arezzo. But I've already got the movement in there. I'm going to go there to see if I can stack wipe them. Although that won't give me any war score. It only goes towards the war leader, which is too bad. But yeah, I'll see if I can initiate the Siege of Rome. Bam. Okay. If 
If I try to negotiate, yeah, I have no personal war score. And here we need nine soldiers. I do have an extra regiment coming along. So we will be able to siege that. I should be the siege leader in Rome, which is nice. But you can see these occupations, if you don't have a fort, happen basically instantaneously. I don't know how much of a war score contribution there is from that. Maybe it's the same war score contribution from sieging it as ever. There we go. I will... I think I merged these two just before the other troops came. So I am indeed the attacker here. Excellent. All right, so we'll see what that does. Speed up. If we can uh, be given a province, it would be very nice. Occupied by Tuscany, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, Provence. Can I declare my own war? No, of course not. I'm already in one. And I can't declare a war over here because we're on the same side. And Milan, no, plus I've got derp. I'm also a... Um, Regency Council. Yeah, I need claims on some of the papal stuff, because then we might have been able to get something. I definitely won't, don't want Tuscany to become more powerful. Although at this point, if Tuscany took a province away from the papal state, that would sort of just balance the region a bit more, which would be okay. Um, all right. Sure, I'll just accept. I don't care. Making money. Corfu, I don't care what you do. Um, I would like a trade building in Mantua, though. That'd be quite nice. And you know what? I'm going to build that temple over here. It's fine. Doesn't give that much money now, but it's very early in the game. Over the course of things, it will add in quite a bit. And especially if I level up, um, since it gives more taxes, if I level up the base tax modifier here, it'll add up quite a bit. Oh! And just like that, we're at peace. Okay, run back home. Good stuff, actually. Um, yeah, that's fine. Then we can lower our maintenance, save a little bit more cash. And how old are we? We are 13, so we got a couple years left to go. I guess we'll put a cut in this episode. I was hoping to be able to maybe get a little bit more going on here, but we'll take what we can get. And that's that fort's gone red again. All right, priests are preaching heresy. Can ignore it. Ooh, 30 Diplo points. Or 10 years of garbage in... See, this might not be so bad if I had tons of provinces. I only have three. That's too harsh. We gotta go ahead and uh, crack down on it. It's only Diplo. It's not the end of the world. Um, although, the uh, trade efficiency would be nice, but we don't have to rush into it. Okay, well, we're gonna put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode of my Italian imperialism. Um, or is it... Imperial Italy. I don't remember what I'm going to name this. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what the titles end up being. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.